What is going on everybody? Dark Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from deep in the Florida Everglades today. And if you didn't know, we are actually a Florida fishing couple here in Florida if you're new to our channel. And today we're doing something a little different, something I've never done before. And like we just said, we're in the middle of the Everglades, so you guys are might have curious as to what we're doing over here. It's not fish we're targeting, but today we're going with Python hunter Amy Siwi right here. And we're going on a Python hunt in the dark. The sun is setting as we speak. We got Andre behind us as well, who's gonna be driving the truck and we're gonna be driving down, basically looking for these giant pythons, Burmese pythons on the banks and stuff. It's gonna be pretty wild. All right, let's get to it, Sizzle. Let's get. I'm pretty let's excited. Go, we'll, blah, 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 I can't talk. I'm really excited. Uh, we got the truck loaded, so now all we gotta do is get on and go on right, a python go. hunt, guys. Let's go. Let's do it. When you grab them, mm -hmm. they, will, they will start freaking out and they will open their mouth and try to bite. Yeah. So as long as you've got them right behind the neck, you'll be fine. But if you get them like a little, back a little too far, they can kind of turn around and oh, really? get you with their teeth. Yeah, so. Whoa. We have hogs. We have. Deer? Um, what? Deer? Two? No or deer no? back no. here. I mean, the pythons have kind of done a number on this stuff. That's what I thought. Over here, so yeah. um, if you get into the big cypress area, then we still have a lot of, like I usually see a possum I've seen a lot of bobcats over there oh, really? and stuff like that. But um, that's cool. But Bob yeah, so cool. so anyway, so when so when you grab them, so what's going to happen though? You will get musked on. So they what's will. That? So it's they have a musk gland. It's like the scent gland oh, that sprays like a nasty. Thing? Yeah, it sprays nasty on you. Really? Um, it's a defense mechanism. And but I've got plenty of wipes, but I'm just letting you know that it'll happen. And I've been sprayed like sprayed like in the mouth, like it's oh. disgusting. But it, it comes out you. of their mouth or they're out no, it there. comes out of their okay, but ew, <laughs> and it just really stinks. Like just... yeah, I mean it's here's the funny thing: water snakes musk is so much worse. Oh really? Than python. Um, okay. When I so I did this Lake Erie water snake video way back when, uh -huh. and I caught you know like. 25 of these, and they're just like mean, nasty snakes, and I smelled for three days. What? But with these guys, at least you can take a shower and it gets off. Like it yeah. Stick like this. Yeah. And sometimes they'll they'll like slide right out, and then they'll like wrap around your arm as they're like spraying the whole time. Oh, and you're like, ah. great. So, yeah, you're in for a treat today. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> There's pigs up there. Oh yeah. There's freaking hogs up there. What? Already seen a bunch of wildlife. That's really cool. Something black up here. I can't tell if it's a vulture. I think it's hogs. Yeah, I, I saw four legs. Oh. Swore. Wow. They're big. Damn. Like, you, if you see certain animals, does that really mean you're going to see a snake or not necessarily? Okay, that's all right. I wish. Okay. I wish there were more signs. And even and sometimes on the nights that. Oh, there's some. Well, there's more. There they go. There's a big one. Big one. <laughs> There's more. Yeah. Those are a uh, nice snake wow. uh, snake dinner. There's another one. Yep. Oh. Oh my God. No, I've never seen that in Florida. That's really cool. I I don't you know hang out in the Everglades too often as you guys know. I'm on water all the time. But really cool to see the the wild hogs here. That's really cool. And the and pythons will eat the hogs. Really? Yeah, they will. Um, what? The bigger ones. And then the uh, and then the hogs will eat some of the smaller pythons. Really? But, and they're both invasive species. Right. But, you know, they don't eat enough of each other to make a difference on either one, so. Yeah, they're all sloshing around back there. Now, I've been bitten many times. It's not the end of the world. Like, they. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I grew up, like, loving snakes, and so I've, I had a lot of experience okay. with the handling snakes them. and with handling yeah. them and, you know, all of that. So I, I feel pretty confident in it anyway. Yeah. But, um, but I got bitten in the butt one time. Yeah. That was so embarrassing. Terrible. Like when a girl comes like and she didn't see it happen, but she was like, um, I'm sorry, you have, you have blood on your butt. Right. You know, like as a woman, you never want to hear that. Right. But never did I think it would be because I got bitten right. in the ass by a python. Right. So it's like, um, no, yeah, it's a snake bite. <laughs> so it's uh all kinds of stuff out here, that's for yeah. sure. And then let me um actually walk you through what we're gonna do if we get a big one. Okay. Because if it's like What's a, 15, what's a considered so a big 14, one? Actually 13, 13, 13? plus is, is gonna be a good size snake. Okay. And actually the ones that we catch that are over 15 feet, it's 0.002% of everything we catch. So they're not wow, very that rare. many. Most of them are between eight and 10 feet. Okay. okay. So 
Um, I discovered this not too long ago, but we're gonna use electrical tape. So what's gonna happen is if we see her, uh -huh. I'm going to jump on her, uh -huh. okay? And I'm gonna grab her behind the, the neck and I'm gonna actually probably lay on her if I can, yeah. just to keep her from wrapping. Okay. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the electrical tape and just wrap it around her tape mouth. Tape mouth. And it doesn't need to be pretty, it can be, make it tight. Right. Because we're gonna redo it later anyways, but we just need to get her contained. Okay. So she, uh, so she can't bite us because it's a lot easier if we, take that factor out of it to get her up to the levee, to get her into the bag, to do all of that. Okay. Been, you've never been like constricted to the point where you're like, oh my God, I can't breathe or something crazy, right? Um, like they Not that I can't <laughs> breathe, but I will tell you this, one of them viced me hard. So we were, um, I ha actually had two of them in my hand. Oh my God. And you know, when we're in that, you know, when we have a, a bunch of them, when we're on the islands, yeah. you know, you just, instead of them flailing about, it's nice when they do wrap your legs, so then at least you, Oh. They're stable, right? Yeah. Well, this one, all of a sudden, and it was only a 10-footer. I mean, it it squeezed my leg so hard that I thought either my bone was going to break what? or my cap was going to explode. What? I'm not even kidding. It, what? I've never had that before in my life. And I was the guy that I was with, yeah. I said, uh, you need to get this thing off me right now. Right. And he's like, okay. And so, and he pulled it off. Uh-huh. But, um, oh my God. Yeah, that, so that just, if they decide that they want to yeah. squeeze, they can. But here's the thing: all I had to do, if I was by myself, right. I would just have let go, and she would have let it, go, and it would have taken off. Got it. Okay. So. <laughs> right. You have <laughs> that big not. 17 two what two foot or 17 two foot and uh, inch python on your website. Yeah, which my is 17 three. Crazy. Yeah. You did it by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. That was <laughs> that was ass. so funny because when I. You know, when you're used to seeing, like at the head, even on like a 12 footer is like about this, you know? Like they're not huge, but, they're, yeah. but then the 17 footer is like this, and you're just like, oh, oh my God. God. Dude. And I walked up to that thing, and I was like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking up with my head bag that's right. like this big right. to the 17 foot snake. And Wow. Yeah, but Jeez. it was, that was, a, that was a good night. Yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have basically took a really long ride deep into the Everglades, further down, and we've come to an area where apparently they catch bigger snakes. And like three weeks ago, a big one was caught. How big? 13? 15. 15 footer was caught three weeks ago. So this is an area that we're going to get out of the truck and walk for a little bit with our lights. I got my headlight and a spotlight here and see if we can see anything. And then we're going to get back in the truck and hunt in the truck. So here we go. Here's our first hunt. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. I'm following her. <laughs> Find some pythons. Um, this is going to be just kind of a quick, quick um, scope. Yeah, a quick scope of, of what's going on around here. Okay. Yeah, in the Whoa. fence. In here? Yeah. Whoa. Um, Look at the little turtle. See him? Little turtle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet Darcy can That is what an it is. Oscar. Is that an Oscar? Is he dead? It is. Or is, that, or is, it, or is that a uh, cichlid? No, no that's, that's an Oscar. Oscar. You're right, you're right. So I wow. used to sell these at the pet store. You did? You know, and it's so weird to come here and see, you know, African, African cichlids and Oscars. And I'm right. like, wait, what? Right. Everything's invasive here. Everything. Wow. That's so crazy. All right, back the other way, guys. Let's go. He's not feeling so well. <laughs> yeah, what's up with him? He's like, not quite right. <laughs> Yeah, he's he, always saw, I think he's dead. Think he's Weird. Dead. He's like leaning against that piece of <laughs> grass there. Interesting. He's not moving his gills either. Here comes the snake. He's going to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at, snake? All right, guys. After that little walk, we did not end up finding anything other than that cool stuff. You saw the fish and stuff like that in the water. So now we are back in the truck and we're making our way back to where we initially came from. And now we are actually hunting. We are waiting for it to come become pitch black, like Amy said. They want it pitch black for when the pythons come out at night. Uh, so we're both looking at either side of the truck and we're just gonna slowly go down the road and look for the snakes. Oh my God. I'm not trying to bite you? What herpers do. Jeez, that was, you made that look way too easy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of snake is that? It's a brown water snake. Brown water snake, not venomous. Is it venomous? Nope. Can you eat it? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I will not be eating it. There you go. All right, well, we'll let him get on his merry way. 
We've seen quite a few Ooh. snakes so far. Don't go into the truck. Okay. Nice. We've there seen we go. some snakes, guys. We're still out here hunting and looking. We've already gone like two thirds of the way down the road with not seeing much other than small brown brown snake like you just saw in the water snake, I think, back there earlier. But we're gonna take off again and keep looking. Ready. I did not see it. Right here. Boy, ow. His head's right over there. And Where he's is coming he? up. He's coming up. Do you see him? No. You, you see my square right there? I see him. See him? Sure, look right there. Oh my god. Grab him, baby. How big is it? Not big. Only only like five feet, six feet. So okay. So right how behind okay. the head just like you did. So right behind the head and then just grab the back? Yeah, um you might want to hold this flashlight though to shine in his eyes. No, eye. she's got I got the headlight. It's okay, yeah. You need she needs both okay. hands for okay. sure. How did you see that? Okay, here's what oh I'm gonna god, do. Oh my god, I'm shaking to death. It's alright. You don't have to, girl. Okay, okay. okay. Um, I, all right. So I've grabbed the head. Someone's gonna get the back. He's he's not on point. So no, you you've got it. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like he's not on point. He he doesn't he doesn't know we're here. He doesn't care. So just like do a quick grab. Your athletic don't, don't great hand, hand eye coordination. So just boom. Just yep. You got it. Don't hesitate. Just like he still doesn't know we're here. Yeah, you got him right there. Right there. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can't see him now. now. Dude, I, I can't see There's There's his head, I think. Yeah, right there. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Smash hard. There you go. There you yeah! Go. Woo! Yep. <laughs> go. I got a snake! Yep. That's a good six-footer there. That's a nice one. <laughs> I did it! Awesome. All right. My adrenaline is still going. And some but salad. Some salad. Yeah, I'm holding <laughs> tight, dude. Grass in there. <laughs> Nice we did it! Job. Oh, yeah! Woo! Amy the Python hunter got me! I, I don't, don't want him to I'm not gonna let him like all right, all right. poop on you. Nice! I finally got one. He's not opening his mouth there, but we Amy spotted him. I did not see him at all. She knows exactly what to look for. And we got up close. I still didn't see him there for a second. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this bright light off. And um, yeah, pretty freaking awesome. Nice six footer, they just said, like seven, eight pounds. You can see right there, he didn't even know we were there in the grass. He literally was just slithering away doing his thing. There's his eyeballs. And yeah, just pounced on him. I didn't need a second there because I was just, just, sorry. <laughs> He's talking over there. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I was just freaking out there for a second, got my cool, calm and collected and just did what she said to do. So nice, heck yeah, we did it. That was amazing, nice job Thank girl. You. Okay, so here's what I, I need to take some, I do need pictures because I need to send it of here. Of course, we're taking pictures too. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, but I, and I always like do a selfie. Here, okay. Let's get rid of some of his, uh, yeah, some of this. you got we'll it. Look over okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had to like let my adrenaline calm down for, oh, he was wrapping her already. Like your six or seven pounds, it will be normal. Right. But this is, and right. this is a little one. I mean, that's considered a little one. He is constricting like. her. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I don't like. I don't want that to happen, but I'm sure like once it, just like fishing, you know, once you get used to it, it's just it's, the normal thing. It's nice thing. because he's not aggressive flailing about right. right now. So I've got him under control. He's being calm. And it's, yeah, it's better. That is better. cool. Look how so, cool they are. Look they at that. And guys, by the way, like you see that snake skin right there? Look what she's wearing. Like you guys can actually purchase this custom made on her website. I'm going to link all the information down below, but she has these beautiful leather. You can tell them about it, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are, yours. these are made from these pythons that we catch and uh, they're pretty high quality. We've also got yeah. leather watch bands, Apple That's watch awesome. bands. Um, some of them are cobalt blue, some of them are natural color, but yeah. And every, every time somebody buys one of these bands or anything made from a Florida Burmese python, they are literally helping us with our cause and they're contributing to the conservation and preservation of our Everglades. Oh so. yeah, and by capturing this particular snake, like how many mammals did we just save? So this one is probably two, two years old. Okay. So probably, um, it's probably already eaten, I don't know, like a hundred, at least a hundred, wow. 150. Wow. Because it takes, it takes, um, Fast growers. Yeah, I mean, they, they're, they have voracious appetites. Wow. So yeah. So Darcy, you just, uh, 
That was awesome. Saved a bunch of mammals. So that was awesome. So I'm going to give you the head again. Okay. For you to hold. Okay. So unwrap All right, guys. So we're going to get a couple quick pictures here. But yeah, highly invasive species here in Florida. Uh, we really don't want them here. And there's approximately, we don't really know but the estimate, but there's 100 <sighs> to 300. Th oh, she just must on her. Look at her shirt. Gross. Uh. That's like, uh, what is that? What is, that's this just... is the smell of success. <laughs> there you go. They do <laughs> that when, uh, what is it? Like their defense mechanism. So yeah, so the musk is a defense mechanism and it kind of, it's just like smelliness that they spray all over you. Yeah, nasty. And it <laughs> it happened good. to her, not me. <laughs> <laughs> that it did. Yes. Okay, um, Andre, right. do you want to close its mouth so she can grab? Thank you. Woo! You good? Yeah. That's, Got it up tight. That's okay. So All right. I really need to take. So I, I wish he wasn't like on this arm right now, but oh, I'm gonna hold the other side, right? Oh um, but also, guys, these snakes. There's estimated between 100,000 and 300,000 in the Everglades, fully thriving, um, and it's just truly incredible that we don't know a lot about these species because they're not supposed to be here, and we can't access them other than certain roads, which there's not a lot of them in order to uh, get these in order to capture them. So, you know, they hire contractors to come out here and catch them. Cool. All right, let's get some pics. Awesome. Woo, here we go. All right, the taste snake's getting a little tired, but he'll gain his strength back real quick once we get him in the bag. So I'm gonna let Python Huntress Amy handle this because this is her Oh forte. no, girlfriend, you caught this. So, <laughs> so we're both it. gonna do this. All right, how do so we do So what this? we're gonna do, we're gonna put his middle okay. in first. Okay. And then when I say three, you're just gonna kind of throw them down it? and drop them. Like I'm gonna throw them? You're just gonna, yep. So All right. one, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> all right guys, we're wrapping up our epic python hunt. And once again, it was all thank thanks to Python Huntress Amy over here. And I'm gonna link all her information down below for you guys to check out, but your website's pythonhuntress.com, right? Yes ma'am. Pythonhuntress.com, learn all about the invasive pythons here. And um, I just tell them really quick why we can't, like, because I'm sure people are going to ask, but what, with the live snakes, why you can't, like, send them back to the country that they belong in. Okay, so they are from Asia, and they are here because of Hurricane Andrew. And we can't send them back to Asia because they're almost like their own species now, the Florida Burmese python. And if we send them back, then they'll, they're full of diseases and parasites that could affect that population. So we, it's just not an option for us. Oh, and what do you what are you gonna do with the snakes now? Yeah, what do we do with those live snakes? What she do? Basically, we have live snake the live snake in the truck. So what are we gonna do? What are you gonna do with it? Okay, now? so <laughs> I'm gonna be taking it back to my house, and then I'm gonna euthanize it tomorrow with a captive bolt gun, and then I'm going to skin it and have it tanned and turned into product. There you go, guys. So the, basically, the snake is not going to waste, and we're getting rid of them in the environment. And I also learned that j just by capturing that snake earlier, we saved 50 bunny rabbits. And you guys know that I love bunny rabbits and have bunny rabbits, so that makes my night. <laughs> can you eat it? Oh, yeah. Can you eat pythons? You can. I would not recommend it. It's very, very chewy. Very chewy. No, thanks. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no python cats clean cook, y'all. <laughs> um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this different video. It was definitely an awesome night, full of adrenaline, and can't wait to go out there and do it again. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and comment down below, of course, and hopefully we'll be doing a daytime hunt with Amy real soon. But until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs>